All right, guys, we're in the shop here today. The weather is just absolutely nasty outside. So I got the wood burner going. Um, it's not going to chill down quite a bit. I got the fan back here. It just blows air across those. But today we are going to work, or this afternoon, we're going to work on this hay baler. A few things I want to do. Is I got to take the tire off and get all this linkage off here because I got to check the bearing housing that this the pickup housing runs in make sure that's all okay uh and then i gotta get i'm not gonna do all this today but then i gotta weld some feet in on the bottom on each side and uh that way i can put the new barrels on i got one two three four five to put on and i got a few more of these here these pickups to put on but the main thing is to see what the bearing housing looks like you gotta get that off uh because Messix has a 15% off deal towards the end of March. So if you got something to order, I mean, they carry from New Holland to John Deere to Kubota and you name it part wise. So if I need some parts, I'm going to order them right around then so I can get at least that discount. So I'm going to put you guys on time lapse. I'm going to tear this down and we'll see what it looks like. Right, guys we're up here at the pig barn and these guys are kind of hungry right now uh, barn really filling up i have two more pigs that are coming here uh next weekend and then i'm done with putting pigs in the barn these are the two newest ones we have they're pretty small they're a it's a barrow and a gilt which uh a barrow is a boy a gilt is a girl uh, so these other two right here are gilts. And then I have uh, two more gilts coming uh, next weekend. And that'll be a total of six pigs for this year. And that's one more than we had last year. And I gotta add two more pins over here because I don't think I'm gonna get that pin over on the other side. So right here, I've gotta put two more pins. So I'll put one here. The one there will just move the scale down a little bit and I'll take my food table and turn it sideways. So, got plenty of room. Uh, today I'm going to go get the gates on um, get this back wall here prepared for uh, the metal. I have a piece of plywood, all that good stuff, so it shouldn't cost me too much to get them two pins added. I got to get two more waterers. Uh, I may just use the portables for right now. Now, I'm going to have to right now because it's too cold to turn our automatic waterers on. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys um, fed and I'll get back to you guys in a minute.
All right, well, they're all fed up. So um, I'll show you what, what I kind of feed these guys right now. And uh, it'll change once, we, once they get a little heavier. But right now we're feeding the Lindner feed, which is right now it's a half and half. It's a 672. So that's kind of a, a starter feed starter grower for a little bit and then we'll switch over to a different number uh, it's got different percentages as far as uh, crude fat and protein uh, i also i'll give him uh, some rolled barley some um, rolled uh, oats and then i usually give him a champion drive this is like purina and then for their digestive system like the probiotics which is like a probiotic just keeps their enzymes up in their stomach and stuff so they can digest all this stuff and this is uh, natural stride and what that is for it is just to keep their joints kind of free and lubricated sometimes they get a little stiff and they'll develop like a limp and stuff like that you know that's for now they're still young they're only a few weeks old so once they get up in the 100 120 pounds i'll readjust their food how much i give them and different kind of supplements just to get them the right shape and fitness for the fair in august and i'll try to keep you guys up to date on what i'm doing as far as supplements and this is how high I do it. A lot of people do it differently. Everybody does it differently, to be honest with you, because uh, there's so many different products out there that you can go any route with any product. So it just all depends on which one you like to feed. Some people don't do any supplements. They'll just feed out grain that they have made at a feed mill, which there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it is somewhat expensive to do the supplements, but uh, you know, I, went through a few different ones and some of the some of them just don't work they just for the cost of them it's not worth it so yeah i want these guys to eat and then i have to pick up their uh pens a little bit they're a little bit dirty wet down here on this end these waterers right here uh, they're nice waterers but they'll hang on them and they don't just get the pens kind of wet so we get that wet sawdust out of there and put some new sawdust in there so we are uh, somewhat stocked up for a quarter of the season. Usually we'll buy skids of, of these uh, shavings. And this is the first pallet that I've bought. I'll probably have to buy three more, two or three more to get me through the season. And that's my buddies down there. Same, same type of shavings. Uh, they're Robins, Robins Lumber. I think they're out of Maine. And the local hardware store carries them so we can get them from there or we can order them direct, one of the two. Uh, it's not a whole lot of cost difference. All right guys, well, I'm gonna get these pins picked up while they're eating there and we'll go from there.
We just did her pin two days ago, so I'm not too worried about it. It's a little damp up here, but where she sleeps, it's nice and dry. These guys, if you put some new sawdust in their pins, they like to uh, play around in it. One other thing I gotta do is I'll spray some uh, Pro Lake down just to take care of any mites or anything like that that are in the sawdust. Uh, we just put it in a one of those like Roundup spray canisters. You know, just uh, this stuff right here. takes care of some of the bugs so they don't bite the pigs and uh, if they're in the sawdust sometimes the sawdust uh, will have mites in them so we got to be real particular on which ones we use uh, the robins are the best ones so far that I've found that don't have you know the mites and stuff like that in them so I'm gonna spray this stuff in there and then I think we're done we'll, we'll be done up here at the park so let's go ahead and get that done I don't really like that stuff, plus it stinks pretty good. All it does is really it dries everything out. Um, it doesn't allow the mites to live on their skin or anything. So if you can look like this one here, got the little brown spots on it. Those are like little scabs from mite bites. She was covered in them when I got her. Same thing with this one. She's getting cleared up pretty good though. Those two over there don't really have any. They got a couple little bites, nothing major. Like, uh, that's probably the one of the cheaper routes to go to try to take care of that stuff and when it warms up when we strip their pins or douse the pin with that stuff bath them douse them and that usually handles it and there's other ways you can go there's there's a product that you can buy that you put on there it's like a topical thing you put on their back kind of like an oil type of deal um, there's a shot that you can give them but this is the easiest and cheapest way and it takes care of it. It's quick, but it does take care of everything. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Uh, it's got quite a bit on it. You know, the baler, we got a part. Uh, there's a bearing that was bad on the pickups. We're gonna order that and get that fixed up and uh, I'll make a video of getting that, that fixed up. And then we gotta put a new blade in the, the hay bind. So that way all the hay equipment will be ready because three months we'll be bailing hay so all right guys if you like the video give me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed please think about subscribing uh, we're gonna have lots of videos on these animals and we do have two other animals coming uh, we've never had on the farm before so be sure to check in and catch a video on those those will be arriving next week and uh, all that good stuff so I'll see you guys on the next one